Brian McDowell, I'm a project manager with AO Reed. I've been employed with AO Reed since 1997. Um, we're up here today at the Oceanside Beach Resort Hotel. The hotel is, it's actually two hotels. They take up two city blocks and Mission Avenue itself. So the property was um, excavated from one end to the other with underground parking two floors underneath the south block, underneath Seabreeze, and one floor underneath the north block, which is Mission Pacific. Mechanically and plumbing-wise, both buildings are about the same. They both use a VRV system for heating and cooling of all the rooms um, and common areas both. Move on to the domestic water plants now. Both north and south block have uh, domestic hot water boiler systems. There's three hot water boilers combined together with two large expansion tanks, storage tanks. We also have pressure reducing stations on both north and south blocks. And we took some pictures of those. Those were built in A.O. Reed's shop, custom for this facility. So we took the parts and assembled them there and brought it out as a unit and installed it in place. The kitchen systems are composed of exhaust fans, makeup air units, that are all tied together with the kitchen hood to supply air in and out of the kitchen as necessary. It's supplemented with fan coil units that condition the air in the space and keep, keep the, the room climatized. Also in the kitchens, on the plumbing side, we provide all the drains, the floor sinks in the floor. We connect all the gas utilities, kitchen equipment, the stoves, ranges, gas countertops, and we also connect all the plumbing underneath all the sinks and pot washers and garbage disposals and things like that. In the ballrooms, in the common areas, in the bars, in the restaurants, on the air side, all the air is provided through linear diffusers. And those are placed um, to be as architecturally pleasing as possible. Some of them are hidden behind wood panels, behind soffits, or just tucked up uh, in an orderly fashion along, along the top of the walls or the top of the soffits. We also connect all of the plumbing that's required for the bars. There are several bars on campus here. Um, and we, again, hook up all the bar equipment and put in the, the RPPPs to contamination from coming back into the system. In the garages we have supply and exhaust fans that sweep the garage area and remove carbon dioxide from the parking space. Those are all tied into a to an alarm system in case something goes wrong everyone would be alerted and removed from the building. In the garage, you'll notice in some of the pictures, the, the piping will jump up high to go over the drive aisle, and that was intentional. Um, we need to keep a, a minimum zone through the handicap access in the garage, so you'll see that all of the, all of the drain lines and waste lines and storm drain lines were all thoughtfully placed in, with that in consideration to make sure that the vehicles, the tall vehicles, could make it through the space. And that was, that was denoted on the drawings on which areas needed to be cleared, and it was up to us how, how to make it work. On the roof, you'll notice that access is pretty tied up on the roof. That's another example of how um, A.O. Reed was able to make the best use of space um, and and access. You know, we created access ports with ductwork jumping up and over certain spaces to make sure that we could get across the, uh, the roof and service all of the equipment that was up. There's a, a greased waste system in each hotel and that greased waste is, is piped from the kitchens and bars down to the basement to the grease storage tanks. All the pipe has heat trace on it to keep the greases flowing and then uh, in this facility specifically we were able to use remote being to remove the grease from the street level without having to enter the building with the pump truck 
So that was new to this facility. From my experience, usually they have them where you just pull up to them and, and pump them out. But here we were able to pipe up to the street level and provide them ports so this did not cause any interference with the facility.